Welcome back to the channel. So today's topic is, do oversized fuel pumps overheat the fuel in the tank? I usually specify an oversized fuel pump for my builds because there's nothing worse than running out of fuel. In fact, running out of fuel could be a serious hazard to the health of your engine. I've had lots of guys over the years suggest that running a too large fuel pump is going to result in significant heating of the fuel. We're going to find out by driving this little street rod equipped with a Coyote Illuminator, Gen 1 Coyote Illuminator, and an Aeromotive 340 liter per hour pump in the tank. It's got dash 8 braided fuel lines, dash 6 return line, big regulator up on the firewall here. It's a lot more fuel than the car truly needs, especially when it's just driving around. And it's handily equipped with an aircraft style three inch cap, which makes it real easy to get a direct sample of the temperature of the fuel in the tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive the car on several different trips with different fuel levels. I'm gonna keep a temperature probe in the trunk of the car so it's right beside the fuel cell. Then I'm going to uh, sample the fuel temperature after a drive and I'll compile a little list of these and we'll find out whether a big pump overheats the fuel. The instrument that I'm gonna use for this test is a multimeter. This multimeter is equipped with a temperature probe. So that's this probe here. When I install the temperature probe and turn the multimeter on, I can select Celsius or Fahrenheit. Here I'm gonna select Fahrenheit and you can see our temperature in the shop reads around 72 degrees Fahrenheit. We can stick this probe directly into the fuel in the tank and we can check what that reads, plus we can check what the atmosphere is and then we'll have a differential. There are more sources of heat added to the fuel than just the pump itself. Exhaust heat, heat off the engine, these are key factors that likely heat the fuel up and account for some percentage, if not all of the percentage of heating of the fuel in the tank. The impact of each of these factors is not being evaluated in this test. We're just looking at the raw temperature differential. But you can bet that not, not all of the raw temperature differential is due to the oversized pump itself. Okay, so this is about a 45 minute trip. Starting with around a half a tank of fuel. See what ambient is in the trunk. The sensors are around 70. Let's open this up. Car's still running, so we're still circulating fuel. starting temperature 60 Fahrenheit that's like 15 minutes of run time this morning Trunk temperature full tank half hour cruise Five minutes. 
drive. The ambient, the trunk showed about 67 or 68. Fuel level is, I don't know, three quarters at least. Fuel temp, let's say 86. Then watch, I'll pull that out. That'll get really cool as the fuel evaporates. See that? So I took the car on several test drives with varying fuel levels. The fuel level varied from nearly empty, I don't know, less than a quarter of a tank for sure, up to nearly full. And <clears throat> my variance between the trunk temperature where the probe was kept and the fuel temperature as sampled directly on the fuel in the tank ranged from around two or three degrees difference for a nearly full tank down to uh, as much as 29 degrees Fahrenheit difference for an almost empty tank. Now these drives were in the 30 to 45 minute range with a certain amount of idling which circulates the fuel. They were light drives and that means the vast majority of the fuel on a 340 liter per hour pump was being returned to the tank. What did I conclude from this test? If you put an oversized pump in your car, it's probably not going to overheat the fuel. And regardless of what fuel pump you have in the car, it's a good idea to run more fuel in the tank rather than less because it's clear that when you run a low fuel level, you do get more heat in the fuel. Now, honestly, if the car can't take a 29 or 30 degree Fahrenheit over ambient fuel temperature, you've probably got a more serious problem. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on future videos.